So in this tutorial what I'm going to show you is how to create subgroups in Revman to be able to form subgroup analysis. So to be able to create subgroups within Revman what I'm going to do is edit an existing analysis and introduce two subgroups. So subgroups are useful for when you want to group certain studies together to see if they have an effect on their own. And this is useful to also identify aspects of study heterogeneity. So in this example, what I want to do is split my studies up into those that contained male-only populations and female-only populations to see is there a sex difference in my effect measure. To introduce a subgroup into an outcome, you want to right-click on the outcome in the tree view on the left-hand window and then click the introduce subgroup option. And then if you'll notice underneath the outcome in the tree view, there is a drop down now where the new subgroup has now been introduced. And then currently it will contain all of the studies that were in the original analysis. And what I want to do is, I'll, is to include another subgroup into this. So I'm going to right click on the outcome and then click add subgroup. And I'm going to call this male only. And then click the finish button. So you'll now see on the left hand window, I've got two subgroups. And what I'm going to do is just to rename this one by right clicking and then clicking on rename subgroup and I'm going to edit this to say female only. But now you'll notice that all of my included studies are still under the female only subgroup. So what you can do in the tree view is click and drag the studies into the correct subgroup. So for example this study here is a male only study so I'm going to click and drag this into the male only subgroup so you'll now see it under the male only subgroup. Similarly this one and this one, and this one, and this one. And then if you double click on the outcome again, you'll now see that the output is split into two separate subgroups. So you've got the female only ones in this example here at the top, and then the male only ones here underneath. And then this is also reflected in the forest plot. So you'll now see there is an output at the top with its own overall effect estimate, for the female only subgroup and then this is for the male only subgroup and then you still have the overall effect which takes into consideration all of the studies together. You'll also see under each subgroup separate outputs for the heterogeneity tests and the overall effects. So this is for the females and this is for the males. And then at the very bottom you'll see this is the overall output. The line at the very bottom which says test for subgroup differences. This is a statistical test to see are the subgroups actually different from one another? So what you can see here is that the p-value for the female only is significant and the p-value for the male only subgroup is also significant. So these two subgroups are identical. And this is reflected in the test for subgroup differences at the bottom because there's no statistical significance between these two subgroups. So what this means is, and as you can clearly see from the forest plot, both of these models are moving in the same direction with similar magnitude and what this is suggesting is that in this example there is no sex differences. Interestingly the I squared value for the measure of study heterogeneity within each subgroup is still quite high in each subgroup which suggests that there is another aspect which is causing this study heterogeneity which is not dependent on the sex of the population. So this is where you would then go ahead and then undertake further subgroup analysis. So that is how you can create subgroups and perform subgroup analysis in Revman.